This video is the story of Lansdowne Field from the late 1920s through to how it looks today in 2021. The photo on the left shows Lansdowne Field on January 28, 1928. Two brothers, Ernest and Cecil Eve, leased 77 acres or 31 hectares measuring a quarter mile by a half mile from the original owner Elizabeth Scott and opened their aerodrome. The photo on the right shows the field in 2021. The northern section is home to Lansdowne Middle School and Artemis Place Secondary School. In the middle is a subdivision built in the 1950s. The southern section is now home to Richmond Elementary School and Lansdowne Middle School's southern campus. This is an aerial view of the field in the 1930s. Traveling east along Hillside Avenue, you will see Hillside Shopping Center on the left. Hillside intersects with Shelburne, which runs north and south. Coming from the north on Shelburne and turning left on Hillside, the road name changes to Lansdowne, going east. On the right-hand side, you will see Lansdowne School and Field. Continuing on, we come to the corner of Richmond and Lansdowne with Camosun College to the left. Turning right, we now head south on Richmond, with the eastern border of the field on the right. We continue to Newton Road where we turn right with the southern boundary of the field on our right. This is now home to Richmond Elementary School and Lansdowne Middle School's southern campus. Continuing west is a small park with Boker Creek running through it. In the 1940s, glider ground crews would travel south of the creek where their Packard car would become a stationary motorized winch for launching the gliders. Today the creek in this area is enclosed in chain link fencing with a footbridge crossing it. We continue west on Newton. Newton is the borderline with Saanich on the north and Victoria on the south. We are now heading north on Richmond. The field of the 1930s has been divided into three parts. The southern section has schools and condos. The middle section became a subdivision in the 1950s. The northern section has the middle and secondary schools as well as a field. The northern section has two monuments honoring the historic aviation events 
that happened on this field. South of Artemis Place Secondary School is a monument to honor the Gibson One, the pioneering aircraft that made its first flight on September 8, 1910 from this field. This all-Canadian aircraft was designed, built and flown by William W. Gibson. On the north side of the field, in front of Lansdowne Middle School, is a monument honoring the opening of Lansdowne Flying Field as an airport on January 1, 1928. Then BC Airways opened a flying school in July of 1928. The company then purchased a Ford Trimotor airliner and operated Western Canada's first international daily air service between Victoria, Vancouver and Seattle. The Ford Tri-Motor was the largest passenger airliner operating in Canada at the time. This is the first of a four-part series with stories about Lansdowne Field when it was used for aviation.